paint. Uh, Pretty good nick, though. Knuckles. It's in Ripper Nick, the same original guitar. Action's really weak, but it still works. Uh, yes, I would, the paint's a bit gone on the head, too. But Ripper figure and uh, definitely my favourite. And it was the guitar. Being able to go and smash somebody over the head with the guitar, what a heel move. That was awesome. Oh. How did the referee never catch on when there was guitar pieces all over the ring? Uh, good times, good times. Well, for me, you, for me, I'm going to tell you, share a little bit of a story as to why I've chosen this figure. I'll take you back to a time when I was with my grandmother, school holidays in 1990, and she took me to, oh, what, was this? what was the shopping centre called? Somewhere out Bankstown Way, Bradley Perryman. Perryman would know, Roseland, not Roselands, Roseland Shopping Centre. Anyway, Uncle Pete's Toys, I remember walking in there with my nan and there was this whole wall full of the Series 2 WWF Hasbro line. And until I saw them there that day, I didn't even know they existed. Obviously no internet, no nothing. And I was just starting to watch wrestling uh, pay-per-views with my old man on the uh, on, on, on video so when I walked in, walked in and saw them all there, I just it literally blew my mind. I I wanted to just get up, get a wheelbarrow and chuck them all in and take them all home. But my nan said you're only allowed to choose two. I remember were, every single one of them was there, every single one. And I remember I looked. I was, you know, I remember I stood there looking and picking them up. And by the end of the day, I ended up walking out with Hulk Hogan, Bear Hug Hogan, and much of man. Oh, sorry. Million Dollar Man Green Tux. And to this day, I have both those figures in my collection, loose, and I have them both graded now. But hands down, my favourite uh, Series 2 Hasbro, and not only that, my favourite Hasbro of all time is the Bear Hug Hogan. Cops a lot of shit, but I think it's a great, great figure, and it just, it's its the only only action like it in the in the toy line, and it, uh, it's timeless. <laughs> It's a good figure. Um, I've got one of these mint as uh, it. I I don't know where I got it from, but I had a Hogan hug sent to me, and the bubble fell off. Yep. So I was like, "Well, I've got a Hogan hug here that I can just put in my display, sell the other one." So uh, it um, is a great figure, and I love his definition. As his upper body was that was his feature, That's and awesome. that uh, that figure really catches it. That's awesome. Well, like we did last time, we'll go through we'll go through each figure and uh, give our opinions. So let's start. Well, you did you've already did, done much of King, so I'll give my opinion. Great figure, much with the scepter and the crown. <laughs> love, the, uh, love the tan on the figure as well. It just I think it just captured. It's another piece that's just timeless of the much of the Macho King. Yeah. Uh, million Dollar Man, green tux, beautiful would figure. Preferred, as a kid, I would have preferred that second Million Dollar Man to be in wrestling attire. Okay. Because uh, we already had, had black tux. We didn't need another tux. I love the green tux, and I guess I've got sentimental value there, but I remember the, the TV com- or the commercial on the videos where he's stomping on someone's head. That was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Honky Tonk Man, we've gone through. I think it's a great figure. I remember it being really, really hard to find back in the day, really mm-hmm. hard. I think that was probably the, one of the last figures I ever got as a kid. Uh, Superfly Jimmy Snooker, I hear what you say. I like it. I think it's great. I think it. I think it suits the persona of uh, Superfly. But I'm not a huge fan of the jumper jumper action. But I do like it. Um, yeah. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, great figure. Can't great can't. Figure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was one um, of my first Hasbro's that one. Yeah. So okay. It was in my first five purchased, and uh, uh, having the two by four yeah, accessories were huge for me. Yeah. 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 Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, absolutely love it. My one, my one as a child, and I still have my loose collection now. It does not stand up. I've got to use blue tech to stand it up. Yours I was going to ask that in Q and A later on. I was going to ask you about uh, figures that don't stand up, but okay. uh, yeah, Rowdy Roddy Piper and the Bushwhackers, shocking for not standing up properly. Yeah. Now this one, this one was a cracking figure. The Ultimate Warrior Series Two, the best warrior made in, in the Hasbro line, in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I think the Warrior is probably my favourite as well of the three Warriors. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, yeah. we've gone through that. We, we, we both love him. Dusty Rhodes, beautiful figure, very, very hard to find and worth an absolute bomb mint on card these days. Do you know mm-hmm. the issue? Do you know why it's worth a, an absolute bomb? Uh, no, tell me why. I probably do. 
So there's an issue with uh, there's an issue with the bubble of the Dusty Rhodes figure. So it's very very rare that you'll find a mint on card series two Dusty Rhodes figure without a bubble crack near its near, the, near Dusty's right foot. Because the figure's so heavy, it, it splits the bubble. So I have yeah. one graded seventy five, and it is I think it's you know subgrades of uh, eighty five for the card, ninety for the figure, and the and the and the bubble is like seventy five. So because it's got a crack, it's an automatic 75 grade. So if you, if, if you find anyone out there that's got, you know, above 80 grade for a Dusty, you're paying thousands and thousands of dollars for it. So great figure. Uh, you know, risk, though. I'll tell you the risk, though. If you buy a graded 80, 85 Dusty, that crack can still happen in the grading yeah. cards. Yeah, it can. So you might pay a premium and say, oh, look at me, I've got an 85, and then three months later you notice that plastic starting yeah. to split. Yeah. So I know a few people that's happened to. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. Uh, Demolition, great, great tag team set. Can't yeah. fault that whatsoever. With the helmets, the helmets yeah. made the figures. Yes. Yeah. Like you say, accessories made made that made that tag team. The Rockers. Yeah. Look, I hear what you're saying. They, they could have done them a lot better. Firstly, Janetti was too small. Like he was too small for like they both of them were really little figures. Yeah. And they. Yeah, it wasn't they weren't great, and they could have been more, more neon. Like with the warrior with his um, armbands, they didn't have armbands, or that they, they they were really simple. I can't remember, but uh, just yeah. a, just like a like a wristband. Yeah. Uh, and last but not least, our brothers from down under, the Bushwhackers. They were great figures. Yeah, really cool. I love the fact that the action. Yes, yes, and I've actually I've actually got the hand painted prototypes of the Bushwhackers. Uh, which I'll share at some stage, but uh, great, great figures. That wraps up uh, that segment, Chris, and let's uh, go into our – actually, no, you know what time it is? It is hearing Uh, another word from our major sponsor. Coming towards the ring. Mattel, Jax, Hasbro, LJN, Remco, Super 7. Are you looking for a store that stacks all the latest and greatest wrestling figures? Then look no further because Go Figure Collectibles has everything you're looking for. Jeff and the team at Go Figure Collectibles are always filling the shelves with the latest releases and buying up old cherished collections to fulfill any vintage collection needs. Visit them online at gofigurecollectibles.com.au or if you're in the Melbourne area, go check out their store at 104 Bakers Road, Coburg, North Victoria. And introduce yourself to Jeff and the team. Plus, Wrestling With Figure podcast listeners can use the code FDU5 to save 5% off your next purchase store-wide. That's Go Figure Collectibles. Yeah, well done, Jeff. Great job from Toppy2 for the um, the stinger. Yes. Uh, right, now it's time for Meet and Greet. you never believe who I met at the shops. Who was it? I, I met someone at the airport. What, are you a stalker? No, no, I was there to pick up my mum. Yeah, right, who'd you meet? Who'd you meet? Stone Cold Steve Austin? The Ultimate Warrior? Andre the Giant? Hulk Hogan? Did you meet CM Punk? You met the big red machine Kane, didn't you? Did you meet Mankind? Oh my God, you met Marty Jannetty. I bumped into Paul Heyman. Here we go, let's kick this off with uh, Adrian Rushton, who has met... Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. Now, Adrian's one, one of our uh, Adrian's one of our valued members from over from the UK, and this was one of uh, Ted DiBiase's UK tours. What do you reckon, what do you reckon they're saying to each other there, mate? I think uh, Ted just told Adrian he's got a price, <laughs> and uh, I think Adrian said he could take him. Yeah, what about the shape. Ted's up? done well. He hasn't aged. Um, well, I know he's probably dying his hair, but. He hasn't aged badly at all compared to some people, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maybe probably close to 70 now, Ted. Yeah. Well done, Adrian, mate. Thanks for sending that through. Next up, we've got Steve Campbell, another godfather of the wrestling community, and here he is with Diamond Dallas Page. DDP. Oh, when you used to be able to touch people's hands. Yes, pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, no masks. Oh, just a great time to be alive. Mate, I I don't think you've seen a photo... I wouldn't even know what the top of Steve's head looks like. I think every photo he sends in, he's got that Collingwood beanie on. <laughs> yeah, Collingwood? that Collingwood beanie's done more travel miles than I have. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Next up, we've got Kobe Vis- Visaratus, and he has met the Lucha Brothers. Yeah, cool. 
How cool is their merch table? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon you can take them, Joe? Me or King Kobe? You. Uh, I don't. I don't fight people in a mask, mate. It scares me. So I'll just. Um, I'll just leave them alone. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming for uh, meet and greet. Uh, well, now you know what time it is. Now it's time to answer the hard hitting questions, Chris. It's time for the Q and A. What do you got for me, mate? Hit me up. I'm ready. We've got four questions here. And before we start, Chris, it's your turn to pick the winner tonight. And the winner will receive a figs down under stubby holder, courtesy of oh. yours truly. And I'll put that in the post for him tomorrow morning. Sure. All righty. First up, we've got Riley Emerson. So what direction are you wanting the podcast to go in the future? Uh, look, I think we're, we're setting the bar... Uh, that as long as we can be slightly better than the major wrestling figure podcast, we'll be happy with that. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, that's a good answer. Uh, good answer. We just just want to see it grow and just want to um, enjoy it. We enjoy the, doing this. Uh, the fact that I'm doing this tonight, uh, pushing through, being quite uh, down with a cough. I know I seem all right, but maybe I don't. But uh, we're pushing through because we enjoy doing it. We don't want to um, muck our uh, friends and our members around and uh, just have fun with it and see where it goes. There's no pressure. We don't have any pressure on us. Yeah, absolutely. Look, for me, Riley, I – look, I think the, the Major Wrestling Figure podcast um, has inspired a lot of people around the world to, to do something in, in this field, right? I, I guess without them we wouldn't be going, hey, let's do our own because you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff people don't know about down under and what we go through with with collecting so for me it's definitely developing a, a community uh, but a community that can connect with the rest of the world you know i want the rest of the world to realize how passionate we are down here and we deserve to get we deserve our distribution problems to get better a lot better uh, we deserve yeah. to be heard we deserve to be listened to and we want to i guess put ourselves on the map i guess it's our catchphrase right nostalgia and collecting from a down under perspective that's right. So, look, I'd love to, you know, when the world goes back to normal, we'd love to do, you know, WrestleMania events with our community, local events, uh, even local events at Go Figure Collectibles. Uh, love to be, you know, love to become some sort of uh, influencer with with toy companies so we can promote them down here. Who knows? The world Maybe is our oyster. Take, take some bikini pics with a toy, mate. You might get onto uh, Instagram as an influencer. Uh, you haven't seen me on a, uh, in a bikini, have you? All right, next question. James Payne, this is a good one. Well, they're all good ones. With the WWE bringing back the retro line, whom else would you like to be in the new series? Pick three, two current wrestlers and one legend. Uh, four, two current, one legend. Well, we don't really have enough AJ Styles figures, so another AJ Styles would really probably be my choice for the current um, look, with the current WWE product, I am not qualified enough to make a decision about who they're going to use because I find it really hard to watch, especially without a crowd. Since I've had no crowds, um, I found it really, really hard to watch and enjoy. I feel like that atmosphere you get from the crowd is what makes the show. So I'm going to pass on that answer. And I'll let James decide if he wants to nominate any uh, current wrestlers. I don't think James will be too good with that, but we'll see. Legend-wise, now this is a really hard question because if you had have asked me this a year ago, I would have said Dino Bravo. That was my first name. I would have said Dino Bravo. Uh, but I would say now, whoa, there's so many people I'd love to see made as a Hasbro-style retro figure. If I could only choose one, do you know, I'm actually thinking now it would be a Hercules Hernandez with the chain, a big chain around his head. Love a Hercules figure. I reckon that'd be really cool. It's one that hasn't been done yet by anyone. Um, or even, and I know it was a Hasbro, but I'd love to see a better version of Earthquake as well. So... Uh,